All right. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome to the Worst of the Best podcast. I am your host, Ryan, and with me as always is my brother, Ruben. Hey. How's it going? Have you noticed that we're kind of matching? Yeah. If you're watching this tonight, we're doing four recordings in one sitting. So if you see the last four episodes or these four episodes, you're going to see that we're wearing the same clothes. And not all are we wearing the same clothes in every video, last four videos. Mm. Ruben and I are literally wearing the same clothes. <laughs> we're almost wearing the same clothes. Exactly. Yes. Okay. So I'm really, really excited about, yeah, I'm really excited about today's episode, Ruben. Who's the most famous actor you've ever met? Oh, most famous actor I've ever met. Uh, I don't think I've, ever, I don't I don't think think I've met, met an actor. actor. No, you have. Who have I met? Uh, Jason Priestley. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You met Jason Priestley. Now, I've had famous actor respond to me on Twitter. And being, and being who? Steve Martin. That's the best one. I get, yeah. I get a better one than that. He, Ruben, I kid you not. I, I, Why would he with Steve Martin? I think I could go back in time and find it. And see if I could find it because I remember you sent it to me. Yeah, it was. Uh, I joked about his hair, his hair color, it's something to do with gray. Uh-huh. And it mentions something about his hair, and he liked it and responded. Yeah, how could he get a better compliment? Than no, that? I should have screen captured it. Uh, but true story. Um, but yeah, it's really cool. See why it responded to me. I've also had uh, Penn Jillette respond to me as well. It's kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But as far as you know, C Martin's pretty, uh, pretty king of the kings. Yeah, of comedy. yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So that no welcome. To, uh, uh, to worst of the best podcast, we have we have no skills like Steve does, but we appreciate you listening to the show because today we are talking about the worst of the best of worst reviewed actors and actresses of the past twenty years. Now you're saying, how in the world could they come up with this data of who are the worst reviewed actors and actresses of the past twenty years? Well, we're here to show you how. So this is how it was done. So a study determined. Correction. Here we go. That's the wrong. I don't want to give it away here. So starting. No, I don't want to give that away either. How do they oh, do it? There's a lot of cliffhangers here. I know, I know. All right, here. All right, the study was conducted by Go Compare, who attempted to determine which actors and actresses in movies had the worst track records based on reviews. And this was done based on looking at the average Metacritic score for all the movies the respective stars appeared in over the last two decades, and the results are in. All right. So we'll start with the uh, actresses first. Actually, let's do actors first. Let's do the actors first. I don't want to think they were... they're all actors. I know. Some are just I know. I know. No, we can't even say female. We can't. We're not allowed to assume gender. Some. I'm not even joking. So first, well, we're not assuming it. Whoever made this list. Has. I know, but you know, but that's and this is kind of a sidebar, but this is kind of true because it used to be like what was it 10, 15 years ago? They didn't want to say best actor, or best actress. It was it was the best female lead, the best male lead. That's what they say now. Yeah, yeah. Now they can't even say that. You're assuming the person's gender. I didn't tell you what my gender. I didn't tell you what I identify as. I, you know, I've never told anyone. Yeah, I've never told anyone what I identify as either. All right. Don't 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 give me any guesses <laughs> in the chat. Okay. So let's start with the uh, worst reviewed uh, male actors. Uh, let's go. Now, there's 10 in each category, but some of these names we don't know. Like, I don't know them off the top of my head. So if I don't, and I'm a pretty big movie goer and watcher, so me too. So number ten is a guy named Christopher McDonald. I did Google him. He's he's done a lot of TV shows, a lot of TV stuff. You would recognize him if you saw him. And uh, so, I, but because I had to Google who he was, it's not fair that we review him. What do you think? Yeah, I guess not. Okay, so he's number ten. So Christopher McDonald, if you're listening to the show, you're number ten worst reviewed actor in the last twenty years. I feel bad. But yeah. But here's what's crazy. Think about this for a second, Ruben. This is all done by Metacritic scores. So these guys have been in these films. He's a working actor. He is a working actor. He's got tons of credits, over 200 <laughs> credits on IMDb. In fact, he was just recently on My Wife and I Watched The Good Wife. And he's on that show in the last season as a character arc. It's probably better to be on this list than not on it if you're trying to be a working actor. So Jason, our brother, has already got, come up with a couple of guesses. He's guessed uh, Nicholas Cage and Brendan Fraser. Great guesses. We'll see if they make the top ten. Both, okay, both actors. Yep, can nail it or just be right. Terrible. And a lot of these, when you hear some of these names, you will see that yeah, some of them are quite surprising. So yeah. number nine is a guy named Neil McDonough. Uh, I remember him from uh, Ally McBeal. I believe was in. Oh yeah, I know this yeah. guy. Yeah. You'll know him if you see him. He's got really piercing blue eyes, uh, blonde gray hair. Again, working class, working actor, been in tons of stuff, a lot of TV Suits. stuff. Yeah. But I had to Google who he was. Ruben, did you know who he was? No. 
But I think we're now entering the category of names that everybody should kind of know who they are. Ready? Number eight, Stephen Dorff. He was in a Blade series, I believe. It was a Blade one. But I know who Stephen Dorff is. I could pick him out in the lineup. Wow. Yeah, I could pick him out in the lineup. Anyway, so Stephen Dorff is number eight. Worst reviewed actor in the last 20 years. <laughs> he, uh, he was born in 73. So he's 45 years old. He's still a high working actor. He's got 89 credits to his name. He's in uh, True Detective. Uh, he, yeah, he's he, season three. Oh, he's in season three of True Detective. Wow. Wow. All right. So True to HBO put a lot of trust, a lot of trust in carrying the season three of that TV show. Like, you know that they would Google themselves and that this would come up. Oh, I'm sure they saw. I'm sure a oh. buddy or somebody saw this. <laughs> All right, you ready for number seven, folks? Number seven, worst reviewed actor in the last 20 years. This might not come as a surprise to people. John Travolta. <laughs> what, okay, what, name, me a John, name me three John Travolta films that you'd like and you would watch again. Since, since when? Well, in the last in 20 last years. 20 years? Sure. So since 98 to now? Done. <laughs> well, 20 years. Pulp Fiction came out in 91. Yeah. That was 27 years ago. So that doesn't count. All right, yeah. Uh, John Travolta film in the last 20 years. <laughs> I couldn't think. Maybe Be Cool? I like him Be Cool. Well, that came out in 95. That was 23 years ago. Boy, he... <laughs> <laughs> That's the key to this. It's the last 20 years. What are some films he's done since 1998, right? Okay, well, A Thin Red Line. Okay, that was a good movie. Civil Action, I don't know if that's that was all right. Our friend Martin, General's Daughter, that's I don't right. remember. Battlefield Earth. Earth, yeah, 2000. That's when things really turned around. Uh, it, it just starts getting really bad here. Oh, Bill, Be Cool came out in 2005, so that, but that was that was a good one. Sort of. Ladder 49, I like that one. It's all right. Well, Be Cool is 05. Uh, but then he's the stuff like Wild Hogs, that Hairspray, Old stupid. Dogs, and then movies that are almost straight to video at this point. So he's been in a lot of films in the last 20 years, and he is number number seven. Okay. Number six shouldn't come as a surprise to anyone. I, I will say that uh, John Travolta, he, for a man of his age, he was born when, Ruben? Um, born in 54, so he's 54 years old, or 64 years old. He's got a beautiful set of hair. He's got lots of beautiful sets of hair. He's got... <laughs> 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 oh man! Uh, does he actually have them on heads like those? Oh. Like, you know what I mean? Like, do they? I'm sure, he has I, his... I guess you don't put your wig. Do you put your wig down on the desk or the counter, or do you do you actually put it on on a? <laughs> you must put it on a dome shaped device to keep it round, right? It's such a bizarre thing. To... <laughs> would you ever even Ruben, even if the toupee fooled people, would you wear it? I have one toupee. <laughs> I had a toupee fitted. I know, but yeah, but I mean, for real, would you wear it? Like, if if no one knew who you were, if you went into a into a a, a business meeting and no one had ever seen you before, so, and nobody knew that you had a toupee, would you still wear that toupee? So I, I wore a toupee for three days, which included me going into situations where I met people with my toupee. It was so weird and bizarre. Right, I walking into superstore, just talking to people. A meeting though. Introducing myself as, but no, it was it was weird. This is uh, this is what it looks like to walk in with hair. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. So number number six, this shouldn't come as a surprise. I guess John Travolta didn't either. But number six, Adam Sandler, worst reviewed actor in the last twenty years. I I like Adam Sandler. I don't like most of his movies. Yeah, he seems like a nice guy. I haven't seen the uh, Netflix special yet. Have you? Not yeah. very good. No, 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 it's it's worth watching. Is it good? I yeah. heard the Chris Farley tribute is pretty fun. The, the the whole thing's okay. Yeah, just haven't had a chance yet. So that's what. I, here's the thing. I'm a sucker for Adam Sandler. I think with Adam Sandler again, these are critics. This is the meta critics, right? I like and, him in short dosages. But, but, but what the, I was getting at is like, I sure. I, I I think it's funny. I like his Netflix movies. I've seen them all, and I think they're kind of funny. And I think it's silly. And I think it's okay just to watch something. That you, when you know it's silly, it's going to be silly. I I, I don't know. I, I, I like him because he also seems like a nice guy, pretty down to earth guy. And uh -huh. You know, he comes into talk show interviews wearing like jogging pants and a shirt type thing. He just he's not he's worth a lot of money too. He just, Is that so? Yeah, he's <laughs> worth a few dollars. Okay, number five. This doesn't surprise me, and I actually like this guy as an actor, but it doesn't surprise me. 
uh, Gerard Butler. He was in 300, great film, but he's done a lot of romantic comedy dubs. Like, he's not a romantic comedy. Den of Thieves is fun. I was just going to say, the last movie that I saw of Gerard Butler was Den of Thieves. That is a great movie. It's on Netflix in Canada. Doing number two. What's that? They're doing number two. Oh, they're doing part two. Yeah. That's a good movie. It's really good. So that's my recommendation. Even though he's the worst reviewed actor, number five in the last 20 years, go see Den of Thieves on Netflix. Olympus Has Fallen. That was a fun one. Yeah. I haven't seen all those movies. So but I he's, I got some, uh, he's got some bad game. Uh, I said gamer. He's got some bad movies. Gamer was terrible. Okay. Number four. Surprise, not surprise. Robin Williams. You know, well, like kicking a man when he's down. Like, how, I don't know how you can. I haven't review seen him in a while. <laughs> yeah, he's yeah. He, well, he's so poorly reviewed in movies that he actually has an active. <laughs> so, sorry. <laughs> Here's the thing: it'd be easier to make fun of him if he didn't die of suicide. Well, there was actually um, conspiracy yeah. that he did. Yes, there's a conspiracy theory about his death. Go ahead. It, we, that was referring to our previous episode on conspiracy theories. Go ahead and, and Google Robin Williams suicide by belt hanging because it was on like a doorknob or something like that. Yeah. And you, there's not enough length to, I don't know. It is a wormhole, my friends. It is a wormhole slash rabbit hole is what I meant to say. It's a rabbit hole. Google su- actually do this. Google celebrity suicide by hanging on doorknob. And you'll be surprised by how many have done it that way. It's too depressing. I know it's depressing, but it's crazy how many people have died. By hanging themselves with a belt on a doorknob. I, I, it's a weird way to go, the doorknob. I don't know. Anyways. There's something there. There's something there. That's all that means. Okay. So rest in peace, Robin Williams. Your number, and I love Robin Williams, uh, but he was the worst reviewed actor at number four in the last 20 years. His last movie was in 2015. Absolutely anything. He played a Dennis the Dog. <laughs> he was a voice for that. Okay. All right. Moving on. Moving on. Josh Duhamel. He was in that show Vegas on TV for a while. I, I don't know was, if I've ever seen him in He's anything. married to uh, Fergie did, for did, the Black Eyed Peas. They, they split, I think. Oh, did they? They couldn't make it work out. You didn't know what to do with those lady humps? Well, what are you going to do with all that junk? All that junk. Um, so, Josh Duhamel, I'm sure he's a nice guy. Oh, Transformers. But as I was say, he was in the Transformers movie. <laughs> so that was probably didn't help his reviewing process. Um, he's also in Chips, the remake of Chips. Ooh, that was that was a horribly reviewed. Uncredited. Movie. Oh, he does not want to be credited for that. <laughs> Guys, please just please leave me out of this. Okay, so Josh Duhamel, you're number three. Kevin po- <laughs> Kevin Pollock, number two. One of, he was in one of my favorite films of all time, A Few Good Men. He was the uh, the lawyer opposite with uh, with uh, on Tom Cruise's team. Yeah, uh, he's in the Marvelous Miss Maisel. Oh, is that no? Is that good? Yeah, oh yeah, it's really good. I heard it's good. Yeah, so yeah. he's good. but he is number two, number two worst reviewed actor in the last 20 years. Number two, eh? That's rough. That's now number one uh is a uh Mike Epps. And who's that? And the, he's what where, where are you pausing? <laughs> I don't know. I don't Mike know. Epps. I don't know who he is. <laughs> He's uh he's born in 1970. He's been in movies such as go back go back and what movies he's been in here. What he's known for? Well yeah, get Resident the, Evil, Next Friday, The Hangover, All, all about, about the Benjamins. Benjamins. It's a conspiracy. The number one worst reviewed actor is Mike Epps. It was, anyways, uh, I'll leave it that. I, I don't even know. Okay, so that's a, that's a, now let's move on to the uh, actresses. You ready? I am. Are you? Okay, yeah, we are. Number ten, Selma Hayek. Wow, I believe it. I can't imagine that she's got like great roles. No, she. <laughs> There's no pun here. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. <laughs> she, just... has, she has fantastic roles. No, uh, Selma Hayek, a beautiful woman, uh, but she's you know what? She's not a very good actress. Her put this way, her her most she's, best... she's pretty one dimensional. <laughs> sorry, yeah. Uh, she, she, uh, I will say. Her one well-reviewed movie was where she looked ugly. The Frida. Yeah, yeah. the Frida. That's it's right. such a brave it, choice. Yeah. <laughs> such a brave. That's what I was going to oh, say. Yes. Because, because she did the, uh, the, one, the, <laughs> the one eyebrow. I was like, look. I'd be like, eh, I, yeah. we can work on the eyebrow. We can take care Dakota of it. Dakota Fanning. 
Yeah, is Dakota. N- number That's nine? Dakota. Is she the older fanning or is she the younger fanning? I don't I get them mixed up. I like her. Well, she's number nine worst reviewed actress in the world. I don't know if I've even seen her stuff. Um oh she's in the Twilight movies. Man on Fire. Taken. I am Sam. Oh, oh yeah, she played the daughter or something of Sam or something like that. How was I am Sam uh noticed not noticed, I wish I'd call it mentioned in Tropic Thunder? Yeah. I can't say the dialogue. You can't make me say the dialogue. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> yeah, o- you- Oceans eight. Okay. Did you see Oceans uh, Eight? No. I did, I did. Is it funny? You see, have you seen Oceans? 11 and on? Excuse me for yawning. Yes, I love those. Okay, so picture that whole thing. Right. But this time... It's females. Oh, you see, no. Yeah, but it's not funny. And there's less of them. <laughs> Did I just review the movie? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, 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 the, that's the premise. There's less of them. Uh-huh. It's not, a, it's not funny. It had moments. Sure. And the funniest person in the movie... Was Mr. McCarthy? No, James Corden. Was the male. <laughs> Is that is that uh, Barbara Streisand's husband? No, 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 no. The the, the the oh the car- carpool karaoke guy. Yeah, he's an idiot. I don't like him. Again, he was the funniest one in the. In okay, the, all right. The, Ocean Eight, plug for Ocean Eight. Go see it in your local theater. Consistently, he was the funniest one. Though there's like funny moments, you know. Right. Okay, moving on. Yeah. Uh, number. So actually, just to speak to our brother Jason, who stopped watching. Uh, Nicholas Cage and Brendan Fraser did not make the list. Wow. I so, think you have to be in movies to... No, Nicolas Cage is in tons. It's all he does. Is he still doing movies? Yes, they're all like straight to video and stuff. Is he really? Yes, he's got bills to pay. <laughs> he's got like... But uh, Brendan Fraser's kind of falling off the map, but he's balding too, apparently. Well, you know why he fell off the map, eh? Why? Um, me too. He was... He got... Uh, Brendan was... Fraser got me too'd? He, he got sexually assaulted. He got sexually assaulted? Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. Yeah, oh, that's not good. I thought he got accused. My bad for the. No. That's what I meant by the joke. Okay. Yeah, but yeah, Nicholas Cage has like six movies in development right now. Oh, fantastic! He's done another, another Ghost Land. He's done. He's no, done no, another no, Ghost Rider. Ghost I think Rider. That's nice. But look at he did six movies in 2018. So if you're a Nicholas Cage fan, you're seeing a lot of films. All right, Jason's saying that Leslie Jones is a worst reviewed actress in 20 years, but no, I don't think it, it worked. Jake, she was in the Ghostbusters movie, but that was it. What well, was the Ghostbusters movie with her? Again, the Ghostbusters movie was... Go on. <laughs> okay, so the Ghostbusters movies was uh-huh. an old female cast, a, what was a funny movie. Uh-huh. So they, were, so they made it woman. <laughs> they made it woman. Uh-huh. <laughs> it wasn't funny. and uh, But I think they had the same amount of Ghostbusters. They're going to be doing that with uh, Save, uh, Saving Private Ryan. Save, yeah, Saving Ryan's Privates. Okay, so number eight is Amanda Seyfried. I Save like her. her. I like her, too. Um, but I can't imagine eight. that she's getting that. That's what that's what Metacritic say. Number uh, we were gonna granted to... I don't see all the stuff that she's in. Are we going too long? Let me just double check our time. We got we got a couple minutes, so let's go. So number <laughs> not that we're trying to rush the female. <laughs> we're rushing the female. All right, we got tied. So this. Amanda, how do you say her name? I don't. Seyfried or Seyfried uh, or Siegfried or Roy? I don't the know. Clapper? Have you seen the Clapper? No, that's good. Um, Ten two. I, didn't see I don't know. Well, I guess here's the thing. All I see, there's only so many movies you can see. Yeah. So maybe there are a lot of bad movies. There are a lot of bad movies. Okay. We got number seven, Kate Hudson, former uh, former wife of uh, Christopher Chris Rob Chris. What's the singer from Black Crows? Chris Robinson. Chris Robinson. Yeah, they were husband and wife. Yeah. They're divorced now. Uh, but anyways, uh, Kate Hudson. She's number seven. Number six, Ashley Judd. Mm-hmm. I haven't seen her in anything for a while. Kathy Bates. I love Kathy Bates. Kathy Bates is number five. Now, you think she's such a great actress, right? But she's been in a lot of stinkers according to her Metacritic score. Yeah, she's on that dumb Netflix show. What's that one called? Um, Netflix show? Disjointed. Oh, it's not funny? No. Okay. So I think it's already canceled. Uh, Rada Mitchell. I don't know who that is, but she's number four. Rada Mitchell. Heather Graham? I, I no, like number number four, oh. Radha Mitchell. Radha Mitchell. Anyways, while you're looking that up, I don't know who she is. Silent Hill. Okay. Number three, Heather Graham. She was, you know, not she surprising. She was an A-lister. But she's really kind of fallen off the map. Yeah. Uh, number two, Jessica Biel. 
And number well, she's number one and two spots are both Jessica. Jessica Alba is number one. Imagine me, Jessica Alba, knowing that you are the number one worst reviewed actress in the last twenty years. Well, her and Mike Epps should do a movie together. <laughs> <laughs> Have they done a movie together? Oh, that's too much research. Okay, all right. So there you go. There are so worst... so who's the worst out of? Well, we'll do one for female, one for so Ruben. Out of the people that I know, yeah, out of the ones that we know. So let's go back to the actors. We won't read them again, but I will. So how this will work for me is if I heard like they they have a new movie coming out, sure. And I have to watch nine of the movies, and I have to not watch one of them. Right? Okay. Because I choose not to. I have to watch the other guys in nine, but there's one guy I just won't watch. I will pick um, I will pick John Travolta. <laughs> yeah, easy peasy. <laughs> easy peasy. He does nothing for me. No. His, his, as his career has shrunk, his head has just gotten bigger. His head is huge. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, same, same. We're in, we're in agreement. Here. Same, same policy for number uh, for the females or actresses. Worst reviewed actress last twenty years. You have to watch nine of them in their next movie, and one you get to choose not to watch are the ones that we know. I will pick for my pick. Let's do the same time. Oh no, no, it won't be the same time. Let's do the same time. Somebody. Jessica Biel. Really, Jessica Biel. Okay. Yeah. Ugh. I think Selma Hayek, at least she picks interesting projects enough. Jessica Biel, I don't think she's ever picked a project where I'm like, oh, I've got to see that. There was one that was good. I forget what it's called, but she gets a nail on her head. <laughs> Sounds like a Jessica Biel. I think it's called one. Nailed. What? I, I, uh, I liked it. I liked it. She nailed that role. All right. So that's our picks, guys. Thanks for watching. Remember, in front of every uh, cloud. Oh, man, I, I get this wrong every time. It's been a while. It's been uh, 10 we're, minutes. We're a little, little rusty. Yeah. Speaking of nails, in front of every silver lining, there's a cloud, and Ruben and I are here to help you find it. Thanks for listening, guys. Nailed that episode. <laughs>